One of the things at the end of our book, it, it asks us a question here, which pet is best? That's the title of our book. And then when we went to the end of our book, they ask a question. Which pet do you like the best? No. And you know how you turned and talked to your partners about that and talked about which pet you thought was best? I didn't get to tell which pet I thought was best. So I think I'm going to write about a pet that I think is the best pet. So, hmm, let me think. I, I have to tell you, I have the cutest kitty cat. I have the cutest kitty cat. He is. He's so sweet we named him Precious. Okay? So I'm going to think about that. I think cats are the best pet. I do want to tell that he's cuddly because he is a very cuddly kitty cat. Mm -hmm. And he's, he has really, really soft fur. So when I pet him, his fur is so soft. What would you like to know about my cat? Eleanor, what would you like to know? No. He's completely black. All of his fur is black. Yep. What else do you want to know about my cat? Mm -hmm. Even his tummy's black. Does he sleep too much? He sleeps a lot. You know where he sleeps during the daytime? He sleeps on my pillow. When I get up, that's where he likes to sleep. Curled up in a little ball on top of my pillow. That's what he likes to do. So you can see why I think cats are the best pets because he's so sweet and cuddly. He sleeps on my pillow and he's got very, very soft fur. I'm going to put all that in my writing. But the first thing I have to tell is what I think. What's my opinion? You know how we talked about opinions? It means what do we think? I think cats are the best pet. So I think I'm going to use that as my first sentence. I think cats are the best pets. I could say, let's see, I could say, my favorite pet is a cat. I could say that. What else could I say, do you think, to start my sentence? What could I say, Cindy? Our, your cat is cuddly. I could start off telling about him. I want to tell my opinion first. Will you hold that idea for me? Because I'm going to put that one in a little bit later. So let's get up. Let's, let me get started here. I think cats are the best pet. Okay? So that's how I'm going to start. I... I have to leave my space here. You know, when I write, we leave spaces between our words. I think, now leave another space, cats. Do you know how to write the word cats? Is it in yeah. your brain? Tell me, just everybody say it for me. I think cats are, so I'm going to write the word are. Do you know that word already? A R E? One of the things is we, when we read, when we write, one of the things we want to do is go back and read it and make sure it says what we say. I think cat are, does that sound right? Listen, I think cat are, or should I say, I think cats are. Amy, you thought I needed cats. Can you read a sentence and make it, make it sound right so I can fix it? I think cats are. So what am I missing right here? My S. Yeah, I got to. And sometimes we write real fast and we don't notice it. So we reread what we write and that helps us to know what to put next. I think cats are the. the you know, T H E. That's a pretty easy one, huh? Best. Best. You listen for sounds, didn't you, Amelia? I leave a space. Best. And then I got to write pets. Now, can you find the word pet on there? P-E-T. P-E-T. Now let's see if it says what I want to say. I think cats are the best pet. Should I say pet or pets? I think pet. cats are the best pet. Pet. Yeah, I just need a, I just need it just pet. So how do I let a reader know that I'm finished with that sentence? A period. period. That's what a period does. Yep, let's a reader know I'm done. I think cats are the best pet. Now, I just told my opinion. Now I've got to give my reasons. I got to tell you why I think. And Cindy, you helped me out already with a sentence. What was that idea you said that I should say about my cat? Your cat is cuddly. I could say, my cat is cuddly. So I've got to start a new sentence. How do I let my reader know it's a new no, sentence? Because I put a capital, right? Yeah. Do you know that one? 
period. Yep, I put a period. That tells a reader it's the end of my sentence. A capital tells a reader it's the first part of my sentence, the first word. My cat is cuddly. Should I say anything else? My cat is cuddly. And then soft. And soft. I could put that there, couldn't I? So I'm not finished quite yet, so I'm not going to put a period yet. I'm going to write the next part. And soft. Should I tell about him sleeping on my pillows? Yeah. Would that be a good thing to tell? Well, how can I say that? He, he likes to sleep on your pillow. Chelsea just gave me a great way to say it. He likes to sleep on my pillows. Would that be good? Okay. That sound good? All right. So I let my reader know I'm finished with my soft and cuddly idea. Now I'm going to write the idea about the pillows. I let my reader know it's a new sentence. I'm going to put a capital. He likes to sleep on my pillows. So see what I did? I told what I thought. I think cats are the best pet. And now I've got two reasons. My cat is cuddly and soft. He likes to sleep on my pillows. There's my two reasons for my opinion. Where do I need an S? Can you tell me where? Right here? So I'm going to say, my cat is cuddly or my cat is cuddly? My cat is cuddly. Yeah, I just need the T right there. I don't need an S on that one because I'm just saying for one cat. I'm glad that you read that and thought, though, because when a reader reads it and checks, sometimes you go, I wonder, does it need it? And you ask me. And then we checked it and read it together, and we checked ourselves. I think cats are the best pet. My cat is cuddly and soft. He likes to sleep on my pillows. I have a capital at the beginning of every one of my sentences. That lets my readers know it's a new sentence. And I put a period at the end of each one to tell my reader that my sentence is finished. And it helps my reader know. Mm -hmm.